Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we're going to look at the area of some quadrilaterals. Specifically, we'll be looking at the area of parallelograms and trapezoids. Before we get started with that, we need to understand um, something about what area is, and this one equation that's um, pretty common, and we'll, we'll see it used later on. This is a rectangle with the length of 6 and the width of 2. The area is represented usually by drawing little squares all over it. If you could count each square unit and realize that there's 12, or you can use the equation that the area is equal to the length times the width, in this case 6 times 2, which is equal to 12 meters. And we put that um, sort of 2, that raised 2 that usually means squared, but we would say this is 12 square meters. So that's the equation for finding the area of a rectangle, and that's what the area is. Now let's look at some other quadrilaterals um, and try and talk about how this, this actually relates. First off, the area of a parallelogram. Parallelogram's area can be calculated using this equation. The area is equal to the base times the height. The base is the length along the bottom here, and the height is the perpendicular dotted line you see there that's next to the number 4. So we can fill in the information for this. The base is 5, the height is 4. 5 times 4 is 20 square centimeters. And that will be the area of this parallelogram. Now, you might wonder why this would work, multiplying 5 times 4. And I'm going to show you here, using a little bit of animation, why this would work. First off, if you took this edge of the parallelogram and cut it off, and then moved it over here, you will see that it is a rectangle. A parallelogram essentially is a rectangle when you take that corner, triangle, and you move it around. Okay? So we can say length times width, which is another way of saying the base times the height. Basically, it's the same equation. So the area of a rectangle, the area of a parallelogram, largely the same. Now, the next um, quadrilateral that we're going to find the area of is a, a, a little bit different. But for this one, we're going to follow that same exact pattern. So let's go ahead and solve. Find the area of this parallelogram. Remember, the area is the base times the height. So in this case, that's 7 times 2, which is 14 square meters. Pretty straightforward. Again, we're just multiplying the two numbers that we see, base times height. Make sure the only area for challenge with this usually is that they give you a measurement of the length of the side. Like they'll give you a measurement of this side length here. And then as, um, try and throw you off. Just remember that the height is that perpendicular distance from the bottom to the top. It'll be in good shape. All right. Now let's move on to a little bit more challenging, and that's the trapezoid. The equation for this one's a little bit um, more complicated, as you can see. But there's the equation. It's one half of the base, or one half of the height, I'm sorry, times base 1 plus base 2. And base 1 is usually the top base, as you see there in the diagram. The height is still that perpendicular distance, and base 2 would be the base on the bottom. So let's go ahead and plug in some numbers here. Use our equation. We'll plug in the height of 2. Base 1 is 3 inches, and base 2 is 5 inches. We'll start inside the parentheses, adding 3 plus 5 is 8. Multiply that times 2 and times a half, and we get that the area of this trapezoid is 8 square inches. Now, just like I did with the parallelogram, I'm going to show you why this works using a bit of animation in the next bit. But just to show you again, using this equation, you can find the area of any trapezoid. Okay? Let's go ahead and show you why this works. With this one, it's a little bit more complicated than just um, cutting it and cutting off a corner and moving it around. Um, because with trapezoids, this does not need to be equal to this. Right? We could have this one here be completely 90 degrees and have this one be an off angle. Um, when it, they do match up like that, they're called an isosceles trapezoid. But in, in most cases, trapezoids are not isosceles. So you have to follow this basic pattern here, you'll see. We start out by cutting it in half this way. And then we'll take the top half, flip it over, 
and then move it over to there, just like we did with the other one. We're going to move it into place, and you can see that now what we have is a parallelogram. Okay? We have a parallelogram that has half of the height. That's where that comes from. One half of the height is the height times base 1 plus base 2, and you can see that that is the full length of this base. All right, base 1 plus base 2, and that's why that goes up in there. All right, the base 1 plus base 2. So half of the height comes from it being half of the height, and then base 1 plus base 2 comes from us adding together the length of base 1 plus the length of base 2. All right, so a little bit more complicated. Um, kind of drawing and animation there, but that's the reason why we use this equation. Let's show another example of finding the area of a trapezoid. I also want to point out here that sometimes the height will be listed like this one, where we have five inches, and these dotted lines on the exterior just show us that it's a 90 degree or perpendicular um, height from base one to base two. So let's go ahead and show that. Um, our our area of a trapezoid equation will substitute the height of 5, base 1 of 8, and base 2 of 1 inch. We'll first add the numbers inside the parentheses, 8 plus 1 is 9, then multiply throughout to get 22 and a half square inches. And that's the area of this trapezoid. All right? It doesn't matter which order you add these to, it could be 8 plus 1 or 1 plus 8. Um, they still give you 9, so it really doesn't matter if the trapezoid is turned upside down or if you call one base, base 1, base 2. It doesn't really matter. All right. So just a quick recap on everything that we've talked about. We talked about the area of a parallelogram. That is the base times the height, where the base is the bottom there and the height is the perpendicular from top to bottom. The area of a trapezoid is one half of the base times, or one half of the height times base 1 plus base 2, where the height, again, is the perpendicular. Base 1 is usually listed as being on top and base 2 on the bottom. But again, because you're adding the length of base 1 and base 2, you can interchange which one's base 1 and base 2, and it really won't make any difference.